Hey guys, Chef Anthony here at Dawn's Appliances. We're at the Robinson Experience Center. We're going to talk today about food preservation. We're going to talk about the Sub-Zero. We've got the built-in right here. We're going to crank this guy open. I'm going to show you how to, you know, set up your produce, set up your bins the Sub-Zero way. And you're like, what is that? You know, the Sub-Zero right here. Let's talk about the heart of all food preservation in the Sub-Zero. Let's pull this guy out right here. This is your air purification system. So. Shake that up. This is what scrubs your air every 30 minutes, releasing all the ethylene gases, keeping your food fresh. So this is the heartbeat of this machine. Slides back in there, goes right in there. You stay here. So I'm gonna pull out the nifty cheat sheets. They come right here. This is the cheat sheet land. So if you look in your uh, sub and you're like, where's my cheat sheet? Right here. Great diagram of the fridge color codes everything and now they have a detailed list of everything that you're possibly maybe everything your heart desires in your fridge and kind of where it goes so let's just roll through this i put a few things in here you know some of it's self-explanatory but some of it is good knowledge to know to keep your stuff preservation i mean we we appreciate that you bought it from don's so, you know we know you buy good produce we want it all to last and for you to save the dollars okay first and foremost we look up apples so apples on our list are right here one to two months in the blue area in the bin so you know you can put your apples in the drawer so our oranges are the next one. If we scroll down the list, we can check our oranges. You know, that's a blue bin item as well. So that can go there. And here's, you know, the biggest piece is, notice they're loose, they're not in bags. Guys, you don't need those special green bags. You don't need, you know, the store bag that it was wrapped in and things like that. That defeats the poor purpose of food preservation and this system that scrubs that air every 30 minutes. It's not going to scrub the air if it's encased in a bag or, you know, a food saver bag. So you're saving money. You, know, you don't have to buy those special bags for your fridge in a Sub-Zero as well. All right, let's roll to the next one. You know, what's wrong with this picture? Okay, here's carrots, here's potatoes, here's cucumbers. Look at this, see, just like this. This guy should be out of the uh, wrapper. So you're gonna see that as well. So if you go to the cucumbers, flip over here, we're down a cucumber, boom, it's right there. We're gonna get 10 to 14 days, which 10 to 14 days on a 90% water-based item like a cucumber is huge, all right? Roll down here, another one, broccoli like this. Gang, you're like, what am I gonna do with this? I would put this in just like a small Tupperware or something like that, but leave it open so you know the gases can release and they can um, keep your food fresher. Here's my biggest kicker. So let's look at lemons. You're like, why is that lemon sitting on the door? According to Sub-Zero and all the testing, one to six months, your lemon is gonna last, okay? So in the lighted green area. So that's on your door, okay? Same with peppers and same with squashes. So things like that can sit on your door. I know that's a little odd in your world, but the way the uh, fridge, you know, cycles that air around, you know, one to two months, timing like that on the door. I mean, food preservation is key, guys. We want it all to be fresh for you, and we want you to have it set up the optimum way, you know. Once again, it's your fridge. You bought it. We appreciate it. You can put it in any way you want, but for the longevity factor, this is the proper way to set up your Sub-Zero fridge. So thank you so much.